Get the best celeb exclusives and video house tours to your inbox every evening with our daily newsletter, button text sign up, content id 18,962,934, newsletter image https, i2-prod.ok.co.uk slash, incoming slash, article 22497989.s slash, binary slash, one underscore cory.jpg, Endpoint URL HTTPS, response.pure360.com slash Interface slash List.php, Profile OK Magazine, Is Pure360 Newsletter True, Pure360 Mailing List It OK Online, Daily Newsletter, Newsletter Site Name OK Magazine Sign Up Slash Form End A spokesperson for Buckingham Palace announced the news, which will mean Queen Elizabeth 94, and the Duke of Edinburgh, 99, will have a quiet Christmas at Windsor Castle for the first time in 33 years. A Buckingham Palace spokeswoman said this afternoon, having considered all the appropriate advice, the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh have decided that this year they will spend Christmas quietly in Windsor. Royal Christmas tradition usually sees the Queen hosting the festive celebrations at Sandringham, with a Boxing Day shoot and a visit to St. Mary Magdalene Church. Related articles. Related articles. Get exclusive celebrity stories and fabulous photo shoots straight to your inbox with. You can sign up at the top of the page. It remains to be seen if any other family members will join the couple. Government guidelines allow three households to mix from Wednesday 23rd December to Sunday 27th December, which means the Queen and Prince Philip will be allowed to invite two other households, if they choose. Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip are currently isolating at Windsor Castle, which will be a Tier 2 area after the lockdown lifts on Wednesday 3rd December. Royal editor Chris Ship has spoken out about the announcement on Twitter, as he wrote, Royal aides say that the Queen and Prince Philip understand that their family will have competing demands over Christmas and as the Queen, like everyone else, will be limited to two households, she is content to have a quiet festive season hoping to return to normal in 2021. The head of state and her husband Prince Philip have spent every Christmas day as Sandringham since 1988. Previously, the couple spent Christmas at Windsor Castle with the last festive season spent at the castle in 1987. It comes after it was reported the Queen and Prince Philip have grown closer after spending time together in lockdown. According to royal expert Kate Nicol, the couple have rediscovered some of the happiness of their earlier years together after being in lockdown together. Related articles, related articles, she told. It was an unprecedented time, of course the Queen was working. She worked very hard every day, but she wasn't receiving guests wasn't taking audiences, so there was a lot more time for them to be together. Obviously the Queen was busy with work, I think she would breakfast and lunch alone. But I know, for a fact, there were quite a few occasions where they made a point of coming together for dinner at the end of the evening, dressing up and being at the dinner table which probably hasn't been the case for quite a long time. It's almost like they rediscovered some of the happiness of their earlier years together.